Hey, this is Special Ed. You listen to Two in the Stink podcast. Yay! Yay! I like three in my stink. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Two in the Stink. And uh, yeah, we're sorry we're a little bit late with this episode, but it turns out we had a pretty busy weekend, so. Yeah, uh, it was pretty fucking awesome. It was yeah. probably the best weekend I've ever had in my life. Um, uh, I did, for sure. Yeah, you had six shows with Casey Rocket. I had four, and then the show that I missed, I was at Media Theater, so it was cool. Which is awesome. Yeah. So we're we're paid. We're we're not hungry. We're, no, we're yeah. paid. I, I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. That's it's awesome. gonna be so cool. The boys are taken care of. So it's we're good. we're finally starting to like round a corner. And guess what? We have mail to open this episode. Ooh, 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 oh, I forgot ooh, to ooh, I forgot ooh, to mark ooh, it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll do it here. Here, do it. Uh, just write. Uh, just do a little scribble. I just I'm having Jim etch out the address in case we like accidentally because I'll be like look it's right here and then I'll end up doxing somebody and I don't want make sure you do it for the box too yeah did you keep their name yeah I know yeah I can still kind of read their name usually you can just leave their name in the state uh one of them's Rhode Island the other one's Florida well this one doesn't have a name on it okay that's fine the package doesn't have a name oh that's not scary at all no this is an anonymous package we have did you received. Did you mar- uh, etch the address off on the package, too? It's on the uh, it's on the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, etch that off, too. Etch the package is from Florida. The letter is from Rhode Island. Here's the letter. Okay. This is... Uh, who's this from? What was her name? Rebe- I can't read it. You etched it out. Rebecca? Rebecca... Oh, thank you. Thanks, Re- Re- Rebecca... Sending us this. I don't know if they wanted their last name... Said, should I believe that or no? It does not matter. Their last name. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, if I remember, if I remember to do that. You gave me a dead marker. So Did I? Yeah. <laughs> we just won't show. That. Okay, we just won't show that side. All right. Do you want to um? Do you want to open up the uh, letter? All right. Then uh, here, you hold the hold one mic to your mouth and then hold. All right. Okay, I'll speak in. Yeah, I'll speak into your mic. Yours is uh. Yeah. Why right. is it? Yeah. It's a gay mic. Okay, this is from Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, and the and our PO box. If you guys want to send us mail, it's four seven zero eight Pennell Road, PO Box two zero one five Aston, PA. It's in our description. All right, we got. By the way, nice little cute little uh, camel sticker here. Let's see what this is. Fan it's, mail. I hope fan it's. Mail. Uh, I hope it's something uh, like. Actually, I'll be. I will literally be excited. Whatever it is, I don't care. Why are you taking so long? Cause I don't want to fuck it up. It's like they, she, they put a, did a really good job. Okay. Oh my god. This like is, literally, hurry up! Like I'm, it's paper. <laughs> I'm. You're I'm, driving me nuts I'm, right now. How fucking I'm annoying! I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> now I'm now I'm slowing down intentionally. Okay, we got this. All right. It's uh okay. It's a cute little, cute little. It's uh oh, it's stickers. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoa! <look. laughs> we got Hold it up closer. <laughs> That's me and Jim. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's so awesome! What the fuck? <laughs> That's gonna go up. All- and we got no, oh, dude. Here, and we got uh, we got all these fucking uh, stickers and shit too. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Oh, oh, there's Open something up, in the car. Yeah. Oh, it says. Hi, Tits Podcast Boys. I heard you got a P.O. box. I'm not very good at drawing, but here's some fan art. It's you guys after having strokes. J.K. Sending love and peace. Becky. At Bello Jobs on Instagram. Nice. B-E-L-O Jobs. Bello Jobs. Bello Jobs. Thank you. Thanks, Becky. I pre- We appreciate that. That's going that's to, so fucking awesome. That's going on the wall uh, when, we, when we eventually get the materials to ugly nail stuff. Thank you so much. Shout out to uh, Rebecca or Becky. Or, oh, here. Here, you take this is your mic. I was just loud as fuck right there because you're just oh yeah, here you want to open this one? Yeah, you're gonna hold the mic up to my mouth. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. You right. need a knife? Yeah, give me the thing. That was for that letter, thank you, uh Becky. That was from uh Florida, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jim's gonna fucking cut himself trying to open this. I'm trying to be strategic. I don't know what it is. <laughs> You, what do you, what's your guess? What do you think it could be? Oh yeah, what what do I think this could be? Uh, this could be like a. I think it's probably like a combination of like pictures, 
and like and probably like something gross. You like, think so? Like toenails. Yeah. The the. What the do you think it is? It's I don't know, man. It sounds like it's like might be teeth. I thought the I thought the letter was gonna be Polaroids, but it was actually really wholesome. You're supposed to cut away from you. This thing's gonna spring open. <laughs> You're also facing the thing you said you wouldn't face. It's like fine. <laughs> I'm like, they know we're dumb. So it's like, <laughs> Did you get it? Like, I don't know which way it's supposed to open. Do you want me? See, you're getting this is your karma for getting mad at me for fucking. It's just a fucking yeah. paper. It's a weird box. I thought, yeah. <laughs> you're really struggling. I hope it fucking explodes. What is it? Oh, do you got wrestlers? <laughs> it's wrestlers. <laughs> it's wrestlers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's wrestle guys. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> There's like a bunch of shit in here. Is there? Letter for the funny stinky boys. Okay. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me put it on. The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get hair? <laughs> it's a fucking bag of hair. Somebody <laughs> said a fucking. Bag- <laughs> Somebody said a fucking bag of hair to the fucking podcast. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Right here. Right here. <laughs> we got hair and then we got this. Hang on. Yo. Yo. That's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. How do I look? You look insane. <laughs> Dude. I can't believe I'm holding up a bag of hair right now. Oh my God. And we're not even done. We're not even done. <laughs> Whose hair is that? Oh, we're not even done. <laughs> Whose hair is this? <laughs> he said it's fucking hair, dude. It's hair. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. It's literally hair. Holy shit. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I'll find out. <laughs> it's anthrax? Here, let me hold it. Here, let me hold the mic for you. Let me hold the mic. If you let me hold the mic, then you can... This is the thing for the... Oh, for the cat ears. Okay. Instructions. Thank God we got instructions for the cat ears. <coughs> and then... Uh, SpongeBob Square SpongeBob, SpongeBob Hot Wheels car. Nice. <laughs> this is, somebody stole a bunch of shit from their kid and then gave it to us. <laughs> a letter awesome. for this... A letter for Dude, the, this Hot Wheel car is sick, honestly. Letter for the Stinky Boys. Okay. Here, I'll hold the mic while you... Oh, what is this? Those are... Look like WWE belts. Oh, that's sick. Um, are these like... Oh, these are like hand crochet and, WWE yeah. belts. Those, okay, so we have like... Immediately, people are giving us awesome stuff. Yeah, <laughs> this is really cool, actually. Thank you. It didn't, was there a name on it or no? Uh, no, but okay. the, the, this is probably... It says for Jim. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's $10. <laughs> it's $10 taped to a piece of paper. It says for Jim. Okay. There's a whole letter. Oh, yeah. oh my god, do you want to read it? Here, I'll hold the... Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god, yeah, so you hold this. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Robbie boy, and a big dick Dom Jim. My name's Nancy, I'm kind of, sort of, a big fan. I love listening to you guys talk about coming and shitting and eating cum and jerking off and getting sucked <laughs> off and all that kind of stuff. I love, love, love you guys. I'm a patron. I give you guys five bucks monthly, so suck my toes or something. I mean, come on. <laughs> I love the pod. Y'all are f- <laughs> y'all are funny for real, but Rob, 
Please let Jim talk about his sexual encounters. We all be listening to you go on and on about you're getting your dick sucked, but I want to hear about Jim getting his dick sucked. <laughs> Damn. Let him speak and don't shut him up with yo, ew, girl, please. Happy Pride Month, Jim. Anyways, I included some gifts as requested some of my hair for Jim. A cool WWE ring with a Brock Lesnar figure. I also got you a John Cena and Roman Reigns. Those were the only ones they had, so I hope you like them. Also, here's $10. Also, uh, a pearl, uh, also a perler bead art thing I made for you. Enjoy. For Rob, a cute kitty headband. Put it on, Rob. I also got you a fuck-ass Spongebob car. Look at it. Enjoy. I'm sorry for not giving you any money, Rob, but you got a sugar mommy nurse dom wife, so I think you're good. I love you guys. Please keep the pod going. Y'all are funny for real. P.S. <coughs> P.S. I was on Jim's Instagram live one day and asked if y'all would come to Florida, and he informed us of his crazy bitch of a family residing in Florida. So, yeah, I'm beefing with him. I'd love, love, love to see y'all live. Ra, but alas. Oh, PPS. <laughs> would it be possible to make subtle merch? Wait. Subtle? I'm a lady. Oh, okay, I get it, yeah. I can't be walking around with a shirt with two stinky poopy fingers. <laughs> it might attract the, the the gooners and smelly doo-doo boys. <laughs> and I don't want that. Please consider. Okay. Yeah, so I do want to make like a regular black t-shirt with like the logo. Eventually. Then ten dollars for Jim, nice. <laughs> Don't rip it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. Here's your mic back. Thank you for the, the Nancy, headband too. We love you. Um, what an absolute haul. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of the headband, put it on Instagram. Um, I have a bag of her hair, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're gonna nail that to the wall. Yeah, that's getting nailed to the wall. It's all going up. Should we label the hair and be like Nancy? Yeah, Nancy. Like, Nancy, yeah. Nancy, and then we'll date it. We'll date it. Um, Nancy and from... <laughs> just, just bags of hair. Yeah. I These wrestling we, figures are cool. What are, we gonna, are you going to take those home and play with them? I'm, well, I'm not going to play with them because I'm a grown man. <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, which is super hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking, do I have any like young... like? We could also just, we also have shelves that are off camera. Yeah, we could just put stuff up here. Yeah, we'll just start. We'll have to start decorating. God, man, I haven't had a wrestling ring since I was a kid. Did I ever tell you about my wrestling ring? No. Oh, we should like tape these to the wall too. These are cool. Yeah, these are cool. Wow, yeah. she made those for us. Yeah, that's like really neat. Those I like love the fan. I'm like super appreciative that you wrote that. Absolutely awesome letter. Um, that man, a really that nice is, letter. <clears throat> that is like that makes me like tear up. You yeah, know? you know. That's like really sweet. Yeah, it's like, Getting nah, hair. It's like super. Somebody actually sent hair. Somebody awesome. sent me a bag of hair and I'm like tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Ah, just some lady sent me her hair. What's up? I got an idea. I'm going to open this door. Yeah, it's super hot in here like, actually. Because like, what are we hiding from, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. all good. It's not even like loud out there. Man. <clears throat> oh, that's like really cool. I love, like the, so I love the funny. cat ears. I love the SpongeBob car. That's like really dope. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys. I think the next time we'll open up mail will be two episodes from now. Becky so. and Nancy. Um, yeah, Becky and Nancy, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Uh, that is just so awesome. Um, and being called a big dick dom is like super awesome. Yeah. Because it's cool to be acknowledged for what I really am. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A strict no-nonsense top. No gay shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you got, when was the last time you got your dick sucked? They wanted to hear. Oh, last time. Am I, I really mean, that bad? Am I really like, oh, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, but you always are like, ew. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm kidding. Yeah. I think it's great that you get your yeah. dick sucked by strangers. Yes. I think it's like really good. Yeah, it's really brave it's and like smart. It's brave cool. and you're, yeah. It's like good for me. <laughs> like, I know. It's such a funny thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> My mom was talking to me and she was like, I'm so worried about him like meeting up with like strangers. Yeah. I'm like, no, they have mutual interests. <laughs> it's like it's like they should be scared. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mom, this might shock you. He's the scary one. I told her. I said, you know, Jim's a big guy, and she said, yeah, but that doesn't beat a gun. I was like, it might sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It like but might. When was the last time you got your dick sucked? Oh, uh, fuck. Like, what's today? Uh, Monday, July first. Monday, July first. Uh, Pride Month in June. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Now, pr now it's over. Yeah. Now, now it's you, now you got to <laughs> go back to not being proud. Last time I got my dick sucked, some fucking old guy. That oh, I, really? Some fucking old guy I don't talk to anymore. Ah, that's a bummer. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, well. 
I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm like, fine. <laughs> you should, we should put John Cena in a jar and fill it with cum. You ever see those like weird like things where people like no, I do haven't. cum jars? No, I haven't. Yeah, cum me neither. Cum jar? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, it was just something I made up right now. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be like a real thing we would do. <clears throat> That's cool though. That's super funny. We should like find like, we should like hang them like by strings or something. <laughs> That's like really cool. That's like super funny. The hair. People are like, he'll love this. <laughs> Some of my hair is so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> if with enough lube, I can think I could fit this up my ass. <laughs> John like, Cena. Yeah, little John Cena. Ba, ba, mm. <laughs> yeah, can't smell me. I don't know. <laughs> can't smell me. Can't smell this. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I love the cat ears. They don't. My head is huge, and I'm wearing headphones yeah. right now. Yeah, you so. can put that on your wife. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. You wear gonna, those. Yeah. Put those on. No, I'll put, I'm gonna wear them while I fuck her. Mm-hmm. I'm like a fan. What is the noise those. they make? Grab them. They go. Uh, they like. They like. It's actually like really cool. I'm not even kidding. Um, where do they? There was a button. Did you press the button. Yeah. Oh, it's oh nice. They meow. It's like adorable. This is meow amazing. This is this is meow. What if amazing. I kept pressing the button? It was like kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a custom recorded. Yeah. Said yeah. Is it listening? That's catastic. Time to get tiny. What the fuck? That's my dick after I come. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get tiny. <laughs> 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 That's my dick after I come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I think I think we pressed all of them. That's awesome. I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear that on Fourth of July. <laughs> Yo, grab that bag of hair real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sentences that have never been said before. <laughs> yeah, you smell it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, pop this open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Are yeah. we allowed to pop it? Open? <laughs> all right, you first. Uh, you only. I have a wife. It's weirder. No, it's, yeah, I know. That's why, why you're doing it. Uh, okay. You have to do it too. Are you, are you okay, gonna... I'll do. It, but you first. Okay. Yup, that's hair. Ew, you weirdo. <laughs> Why would you do that? You're not going to smell it? No. <laughs> you suck. I'm not a psycho like you are. <laughs> you're so dumb, dude. Ew, Rob. Rob, you're married. You can't do that. I know. It's like, that's like nasally cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I just smelled her. That is so All funny. I did was smell her, Britt. So wait, this is her, her hair. This is her hair, right? So now there's just this lady walking around with fucking chop. <laughs> there's a lot of hair. It's not a little yeah, bit. What you? How much hair do you what have? What the fuck? Wait, where did this hair, like what, like part she of your body? She said it's her, it, it, her yeah, She didn't say what, I guess. It's a ponytail. She cut her fucking cut hair her, off. Holy shit, she cut her fucking pony. It's literally a ponytail. <laughs> Dude, the rubber band is still on and everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She cut this her fucking funny. hair off. <laughs> It's so what psychotic. A fucking it's amazing. What an amazing lunatic. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Cheers to you, Nancy. What an incredible person. I didn't smell like anything, in case you're wondering. Yeah. I was that can't be real. That's, that can't be dude, a real. It's an actual it's a there's a fucking hair tie in it. I know, but like, come on. <laughs> that's, that's like that's so fucking great. crazy. That is hysterical. My goodness. <laughs> So yeah, you what asked the hair, fuck? Hair and you got it. The WWE belts are sick. That is sick. I just like any yeah anything that's like custom. Dude, if anybody walked into this fucking room right now and saw like the, like we have like okay hair, children's toys, and like this looks like like if I put all of the things together, it looks like we're trying to catch and kill a kid. Like it literally like we have his hair already. <laughs> yeah. We like like we'll get him in there with these. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture and post it on Instagram. All the cool stuff we got. Yeah. That's so awesome. First, ten, first ten dollars taped to the fucking thing is the funniest first, thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got ten bucks. That rules. <laughs> <laughs> That's like really cool, man. That like super rules. I'm still looking for uh creepy Polaroids if anybody's interested. Yeah, if anyone has like those. Send uh send creepy Polaroids, mm. more hair. If someone sends a tooth, that's gonna be like- it's everything's getting na- ugly nailed to the wall. Mm. I gotta, I gotta make sure there's no like wiring behind this, so I don't fucking electrocute myself. You should just get like a roll of like, like tape. Oh yeah, just not tape like it. scotch tape, but like the, what's the masking tape? Oh yeah, like, that like like duct tape. Tan ta- no, no. Oh, not no, because the duct tape will pull paint off this. Okay. Use like the, what's that like tan tape, masking tape, whatever that's yeah. called. We can also just do push pins on that light. Yeah, but you know. Okay. Tape, tape. You can ugly tape stuff to the wall. That's true. We could. And then you don't have any. Like it'll just all come off. Yeah. Like like thumbtacks will leave holes mm-hmm. and. Duct tape will pull the paint off. Yeah, you're really putting a lot of thought into this, I guess. Well, I just don't want you to destroy your wall. Our wall. Okay, well, I guess I live at Rob's now. (laughs) 
Finally. <laughs> yeah, finally. That letter's that letter's awesome. That's insane. All the stuff's cool. I love the SpongeBob car. That's going directly up my ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's going directly up your ass. That's super funny. Yeah, yeah so a... we just we yeah, huge haul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy pull. Me and Jim are acting like we're not about to play with these wrestlers immediately after. I know, I know. I'm gonna i I'm gonna get really high and be like <laughs> bam, 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 in my underwear. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> so, uh, what, how do you feel now that Pride Month's over? Uh, I thought I had a really good Pride. Yeah. What was your highlight? What was your Pride highlight? Uh, your Pride light. If some my say. Pride highlight. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Honestly, I had more shows than like I have ever had in my life. I had okay. a show almost every day. That's awesome. Do you um, think it was because you're gay, or do you think... And, and, and no, that's the thing. There, there was not a lot of queer shows. There oh. was like two. Gotcha. Um, which is sick. So I had like a bunch of regular gigs. So. Nice. Nice and busy. It's good to hear, man. Um, as far as like dick goes, like I didn't have like that much going on. I was still like trying to work shit out with like this fucking old man. But, um, you know, fuck. And I got to go to Denver Pride. Like that was cool. Yeah. See some of that shit, you know. <clears throat> That's what's up, man. Yeah, because I missed Philly Pride, but Philly Pride, I was watching the shit on Instagram. It looked like a nightmare because the Philly Pride clashed with like the protesters of Israel oh, and no. shit. So like there was like a they didn't know who, and, like no one knew who to be mad at. They were like, <laughs> they, they, we all smell. <laughs> <laughs> we all Two smelly crowds collide. <laughs> yeah. Like the police horses are like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> homophobic police horses. Yeah, yeah, I um. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, I couldn't. Uh, I I wanted to go to one of the pride parades with you, but I think you landed in Denver before me. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Was it like? It's blah. not that. It's not that special. Honestly, yeah. it's just like you like get tipsy and like make out with guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if as long as I'm tipsy, Wait. as long as I'm tipsy. Well, hold on. Are they hot guys? Always. Come yeah. On. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, are they hot guys? I'm like, have you seen me? <laughs> of course they're hot. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> they're like old. <laughs> I'm like, hey, fellas. <laughs> Hello. Mm-hmm. How are you? Yeah, they're showing you their like mashed potato collection. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, what do you? What, what's something you want to get fan mail next episode or like next time? Something I, if I could pick anything, I, yeah. I like. I think my favorite thing is the letter. I like the, the letter. letter. Yeah, handwritten letter. I like nice. that somebody wrote a letter. The hair is hilarious. Um, yeah, I just want Polaroids. also ten dollars rules every time. <laughs> ten dollars. <laughs> That's great. They yeah. Not only do they pay um, hair, it was funny. Yeah. That came from uh, Florida, Rhode Island. Yeah, uh, Florida. The other one came yeah. from Rhode Island. Thank you guys. Yeah, that is that is so hilarious. Already the PO box is paying off. <laughs> it's already worth Unbelievable it. Unbelievable <laughs> box of treats. The floor, the, our floor right now looks like we definitely like are trying to like catch a kid. kid yeah. <coughs> and not release. Yeah. This is <laughs> not a catch and release. <laughs> yeah. Catch and keep. Yeah, catch and keep filet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, what am I gonna do with this Roman Reigns? <laughs> man, at least it's not Logan Paul. Oh, I love Logan Paul. He is. He is very athletic in the ring. He's a great wrestler, and he's good on the microphone. Didn't Jake Paul? Didn't the the Jake Paul and Tyson fight get uh, fucking rescheduled? Yeah, or Tyson canceled had like or... a fucking like heart attack or something. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to like. He knew he was gonna get his ass whooped. You think he was? No, absolutely not. No, I think Mike no. Tyson would have punched him. In he would have fucking, fucking head. beat the shit out of him. As soon as he stepped in that ring, I feel like he would have like. Like turned into like his old self, you know. But then watching him, uh, what was it? The last pay per view fight he did, it was him versus uh, uh, what's his name? You know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, Roy Jones, or am I thinking somebody else? Oh, um, I might be. In, I might be literally retarded. Yeah, he like fought he, did, he fought like the whatever the guy. He fought he, another old boxer. Oh, uh, Vanderfield, right? No, Wh- who's that's the guy, not a person. Who's the guy whose ear he bit off? That's not him. Oh, I thought he like. But that's Vander Holyfield. Him. Oh, okay. Vanderfield. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know sports. Darth Vader field. I'm like, blab and burb. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy he fought? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, if you could if you could fight anybody, who would it be? If you could, like, fight anyone. Just say, just say you fought them. Just to say... I'm I asking fought. you fight club questions now. Someone, uh, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor? Yeah. He would, like, beat the piss out of you. But I could be like, yeah, I fought him. <laughs> you got punched by him a lot. I would totally fight him. You think so? I have a, I have 200 pounds on him. That's true. If I got a hold of him, I could murder him. <laughs> you think so? Yes. He, he, yeah. 
Gotcha. <clears throat> I mean, it would be hard. He's very he's a fighter. He'd probably yeah. knock me out. He absolutely would knock you out. Yeah. I th- I would be very surprised if you got a hold of him. If I got a hold of him, I would yeah, I would throttle him if I yeah. got a hold of him because I'm you would just, just have a bigger to, guy. You just have to dangle coke in front of his face until mm-hmm. he eventually charges after you. Yeah, he'd kick me right in the gut. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. And your gut would just swallow his foot and twist yeah. it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spit it back out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who I would fight. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't think I would want to fight any. I think no matter what, I'm getting my ass whooped. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, Conor McGregor would break my legs. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'll kill him. <laughs> I would love to see you fight Conor McGregor. I'd bet I'd bet on that. I'd bet on you. What would the over-under on that be? It'd be, be a huge spread. <laughs> yeah. Like, huge I have zero professional fights. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like a minus nine million. <laughs> no, it's plus nine million if you win. Oh yeah, he'd yeah. be like a he'd be like a minus nine million. Yeah, you have to bet like a hundred dollars to win like negative two dollars. Yeah. <coughs> you ever do sports gambling or anything? Or no, no, oh, God, no. I love sports too much. I would easily ruin my life doing that. Would you, have you gambled like at all? Really? Or you won like money on the scratch off once? You said right. I won money on scratch offs. I did a little bit of sports betting just because it was fun. But I do mostly my sports betting like ends now at like fantasy football. Yeah, I do fantasy football. I pay to enter, and then that's like it. Like, yeah, that's not. I don't like do it every week. Like I can't. Like our one friend, uh, he likes sports bets like constantly all the time. Yeah, and he like he's like I'm up eight hundred. He'll text me be like I'm up eight hundred bucks. And then literally like that morning like five a.m. He's like I'm down like eight hundred dollars. That sucks. I'm like because you're like betting on like Latvia and like cricket. Like what is it? Yeah, some people do it for like a living though oh my cousin my cousin made a shit ton of money sports betting and then fucking like opened his own like landscaping business with oh, the money wow that's crazy and now he's like taken care of yeah and he was well now the thing he kept sports betting so now he's like super up okay and has the landscaping business and doesn't do any of the landscaping anymore and his guys have truck like it's like a whole thing like it's wow. a whole like big deal that's awesome yeah yeah I wish I was smart enough to know how to sports bet or even invest in general like I just been, I've been like, me and Britt were throwing money into crypto for a while, but now we're kind of holding off on that. It's, like, weird, yeah. Yeah. It's, like, so, like, volatile or whatever. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. You guys should have, like, IRAs, though. <laughs> yeah, I think we're working on that next. Because it's, like, a, what? I think it's, like, a $5,000. Look at, look, at look at us talking. It's look like how a, educated we sound. It's, like, a $5,000, like, maximum contribution yeah. a year. Yeah, talking about IRAs. I mean, it's true. And then, what, seven years it doubles and blah, 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 but you do it every year, it's like boom, 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 and yeah. then all of a sudden it's like, oh. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I don't have to work the rest of my life. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? <clears throat> One day. Oh, wait, we already aren't. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, this doesn't work. Oh, man. I just, yeah, I literally just opened up wrestling figures. <laughs> I, what is my life? <laughs> yeah, and you had $10 taped to a uh, fucking envelope. My life makes no sense. It seems it seems pretty great. Seems Hanging like out with well. me has led to you getting a bag of hair in the mail. <laughs> you know that? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Did you ever think that hanging out with me was going to lead to you getting a bag of hair in the mail? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, like, man, it's got. I wonder if, like, what anybody at the post office thinks. Well, I guess they didn't know what was in any of this mm-hmm. shit. It's not like it goes through like X-ray or anything. I don't think. No. Or does it? Because that'd be hilarious if it's just like they check the X-ray. No. It's wrestlers and hair. Yeah. No, they don't fucking care about that. Yeah. <clears throat> I definitely, I still want Polaroids, though. That's so fucking funny. Out of control. So what are your plans for uh, 4th of July? What are you doing? I don't have any. You got nothing? Yeah, I usually go to my buddy's uncle's house, but that's all up in the air. I don't know. Mm, gotcha. Because um, they, they throw, like, a party, and it's, like, very, very, very American. It's, like, super, like, patriotic. I'm going to be doing, like, a lot of booze in. Yeah. I'm Doctor like, said weekends only, so <laughs> got to make, it's like a vaca- vacation, just one long weekend, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it easy with the booze. Yeah, I uh, yeah. On Friday night, I had approximately like nine thousand Coronas. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> I drank. I drank from literally like seven o'clock to like seven o'clock. Yeah, actually, it was like seven o'clock to like eleven o'clock the next morning. Like I finished a beer, and then you called me, and we're like, "Yo, where are you at?" I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> I was like, I I slept a half hour. Did you? Oh yeah, and then you had to go to fucking Jersey, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Man, how did, where did you get all the energy for that? No idea. No idea. No idea. It's as if there was like a magical substance that was like <laughs> helping me through all of it. It's like a magical. Obviously, some... something like that doesn't exist. Yeah. But if it did, if it did, that was probably what would right. help. A kind stranger would have gifted it to you at Helium Buffalo. <laughs> 
in yeah probably <laughs> yeah in, probably. A, in a crazy in a cra- sideways <laughs> world that never happened yeah somebody would give me a bag of a magic like, powder the gal- like pixie dust yeah something, something that like they like, could like like i wish dude i wish i could do stuff like that what like drugs yeah i like can't do drugs at all oh yeah you can't i can like smoke pot i can mm-hmm. drink but i can't like do the other shit you can't not at all <laughs> i can't handle it i yeah. get like too into it do you do you yeah yeah, yeah. Like the second, it becomes my personality the second I start doing it. Well, I know it does. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, I know. Yeah, you become white t-shirt guy. Yeah, I'm like, how you doing, y'all? <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, you're like one gold chain away from just like having an accent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like DJ Khaled right now. <laughs> DJ Salad, never know. that. DJ, uh, man, I'm working. I'm trying yeah. to figure something out here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's all I had. I had DJ Sal. Yeah, it was you're... more of a compliment than a dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, like, like, it's like tough. <laughs> it's tough out here. Not every riff is perfect. Not every riff's gonna be good. Casey was great to work with, though. His riff. Oh yeah, Casey awesome. Rocket. Oh man, can't thank the guy enough. Yeah, fantastic. And we'll be back in August. Oh yeah, August we'll be in Maryland with him and uh, Jersey and PA again. Jersey and PA. It's gonna be good. Always, his crowds are awesome. They're great. Yeah, I think it's a good little team that we got together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jacqueline did really well on his shows, too. Yeah, we were able to get the homies on. I mm-hmm. got my buddy TJ on a guest spot, and then our other friend Kyle came and hosted, so it was like a whole, you know, thing. Yeah. Um. There. Yeah, these, are, these wrestlers are called knuckle crunchers. Yeah, you keep yeah. playing with them with your feet. Well, what else? Well, yeah. I don't know. That's what they're supposed to be played with. <laughs> no? I don't know. I guess. You never see so you never heard about like cum jars or anything? No, I don't know why this is like a thing that you're harping on. Because I can't believe out of somebody who spent so much time on the internet, you never heard that. No, I don't know about that. And like, I, I didn't know about cum tributes. I didn't like, oh. I didn't know about any of that. Like, yeah. I'm, well, let me educate you. So what people cum jars what they'll do is, is people take like a figurine and most of the time it's some weird shit. Like they'll take like um like uh, they'll take like a Princess Peach amiibo. Uh, what well, is that? A princess. It's like from Mario. You know Princess Peach. Yes. They'll well, take what like the fuck is an amiibo. Okay, it's like uh something. It doesn't matter. It's like a figurine. Okay. They'll take like a figurine, or they'll take like uh, a My Little Pony one, mm-hmm. and they'll put it in a jar, and then every day they'll just keep coming into that jar until it's like filled with cum. You want to see a picture? Sure, but what to what end? Like to what is the. Just, off. I guess it's just like a fetish. Like they're drowning this figurine in cum. And you do this? No, I don't do it. Okay. I've seen, I've seen it online. I've, I've heard of it on the internet. I was joking when I said we should do that with John Cena. Um, yeah, he was joking. Cum jar, figurines. Why is it in the recents? <laughs> oh yeah, see, it's pretty fucking disgusting. Ew. Ew! Wait, that's like a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. You didn't think I was? You thought I was kidding? No, I didn't think you were kidding. I just no. Look how look how gross it looks. It's been after it's been aging for a while. Like, look, people they they've put like anime figures in like jars and shit, and then fill it up with cum. It's like crazy. Ugh. I mean, like you know, teach their own, but like that's like I don't know. For me, that's a little bit too far. Ugh. I tied off a condom after fucking a guy one time. Yeah, and I left it on my nightstand for like two days. I like didn't throw it away. I, I like I like tossed it onto the table, and then I kind of just like forgot about it. And I came back to it, and it was like oh, oh yuck. It was like semi solid. Like it like started to congeal like yeah, even harder. Yuck. It was like you've awakened me. <laughs> and, like, the out, and the outside I'm of it alive. stinks. I'm alive. Like, oh. <laughs> The outside of it does stink because you committed a sin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. made God cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's how does he expect to react? Nice. <laughs> oh, whoa. Love is love. <laughs> love. love is love. God's, like, God's up there. like, no, it isn't. <laughs> nuh uh. Yeah, nuh uh. <laughs> Super funny. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna be straight from now on. Yeah. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of messages from women. So How's it's that? like, what's your what's your next move? You think? I don't know. I'll, you don't know what you're gonna. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, right. You you're gonna start dating a uh, woman? You think? I could. I know you could, but I think you like bussy too much. You, <laughs> you like got you like old man butts too much. No, th- only because they were like really hot. That's why <laughs> they was like really hot. That's why I was like going through all that nonsense because they were hot. That's mm-hmm. why. 
You know what I'm saying? People get it. People yeah. get it. You know, if Brit wasn't pretty, you wouldn't fucking like deal with that. That's true. You know, like being Asian, like if she wasn't pretty, like you wouldn't <laughs> deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now you're making a lot of sense now. When you yeah. put it that way. Yeah. When you put it in wife terms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do put up with a lot of her fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Because she's got rocking tits. Yeah, no, she really is like super easygoing. No, she's literally the best. It's like so funny. (laughs) She's literally the best. We're both kidding. We love her. Yeah, no, she's great. I've got dishes in the sink still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't even yell. Well, I get I get a little bit more leeway when the, when the checks come. Oh yeah. Yeah, when the when the deposit when the when the comedy checks come, she she calms down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like pick out something on Amazon and I pay oh, for it. And she's man. like gets so wet. It's like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like one click. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't even check out. Just buy now. Just buy now. Whoa. Oh fuck! Three easy. That is, that's hot. I'm like hot. Yeah. I'm like wow. <laughs> I can't wait to get a haircut tomorrow. I uh, I put like a thing out there that was like send me recommendations. I was like only one thing. I only let black girls cut my hair. Yeah. And people were like, ah. so I'm gonna go get my hair cut tomorrow. Yeah. What are you gonna get? Like a mohawk or? <laughs> hey, we're down here. Hello. All right. Sorry, did you turn the lights on and off? Oh yeah, we're I mean, we're back here. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, all right. My mom, my mom's crashing the podcast now. Isn't that great, Betty Joe? What were you talking about haircut? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my haircut. You should get this hair added to you, your hair. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking yeah. like, I I I I'm gonna go with like I'm gonna ask the barber like. Or like the hairdresser, I'm gonna be like, "What should I do?" Because mm-hmm. I never know what to do. I'm like, "Leave it a little long on top, fucking cut the sides off." You should get like a mohawk. No, I have too big of a head. I yeah. can't do anything adventurous. It has to be like very tight. The la- don't get like the one haircut you got. You look like a lesbian. That's the haircut I like, though. You look like a literal lesbian. It looks great. You look like you look like somebody who'd be like, "Um, that's actually the non-binary bathroom." I had somebody tell it to me once, but I, I do say that. Oh, well, somebody like, I was like going to like, it I was like, it makes you look gay. I'm like, I got bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I got horrible news for you. <laughs> Did I tell you that sometime I was trying to use the bathroom and somebody was like, that's a non-binary bathroom. It was literally just a single, it was a single bathroom, had no signs on it. It's just a, per- just it's just bathroom. a, it's a stick figure with a question mark for a crotch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, beats me. Um, but I tried to walk in, I had to poop and, and then, uh, somebody, you know, you can picture what they look like. They were sitting at the table across, I can, I can. and they yelled, and they said, that's a non-binary bathroom, and I said, oh, okay, and then I went into the bathroom next to it, and then they didn't say anything, and it was the same exact, like, there was, like, it was just, like, a different bathroom. You're non-binary. You could have been, like, mm-hmm. and? Well, this was before, I, I don't know, like, I had, uh, I could have just been, said, yeah, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to front. They didn't want to lie. I would have felt yeah. bad. Yeah. No, I'm like, no, nah, I'm like, where's the hot jock bathroom? Okay, oh, my bad. Where's the hot, cool, tall guy bathroom? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, I'm looking for the fast, tall jock bathroom. <laughs> that's so funny. They're like, that's the men's room. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I go in there. And yeah, it's so funny. The airport. <laughs> oh, in airports. Oh yeah, every time, every time in an airport. Miss, miss. As I'm walking into the, the men's restroom. <laughs> that's because you have that fat, like little girl butt. That's I do. So <laughs> funny. I got. You have that I, fat girl butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I and you're always like walking around like. <laughs> Like you're all like you literally look like a mom in the airport. You're like, ah. I do, yeah. I'm yelling, I'm yelling at all my kids running around. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I got. I well, yeah. I'm wearing like pink shorts. My duffel, my fucking suitcase broke, so I'm using my wife's Hello Kitty suitcase. So I'm not helping myself. Never. I'm walking around, miss. I'm like, oh, actually, um, 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 yeah, um, <laughs> yum. <laughs> it's actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, the TSA too. This line, miss. I look over and they're like, they they just don't even care. I'm like, they're like, this line. I'm like, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. Word. What's your deepest voice? Um. Oh <coughs> uh, yeah. 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 No. Yeah. So I. Yeah. So the tax bill. Um. Yeah. No. So I paid. Yeah. So after I paid the taxes. Um. Then I. Then Is that I what went. What guy sounds like. Huh? Is no, that this, guy, this, is that how a guy talks? This is what a this is what an adult sounds like. This yeah. is what like a this is what like a really deep voice adult sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. So I I paid I paid my tax bill and then I went down to the uh went down to uh to the to the office to work you know yeah 
Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I think my 401k is uh, really starting to, to take off, and I can't wait to eat the bag of hair that somebody sent me in the mail. Yeah. That's going to be... <laughs> There's a bag of fucking hair Just on sitting floor. on my floor. I smelled it. I thought you were going to do it. I'm never... I Guess what? I'll never trust you again. I'll never go first on anything ever again. How does that feel? How does it feel You'll to immediately... How does it feel to immediately like lose my trust? You're super. I sniffed it, and then I, I said, "You have to do it too." You said, "Okay," and I knew you weren't going to do it. and I did it anyway. Yeah. Well, obviously, you're going to smell the hair. Well, I mean, yeah, but you were supposed to do it too, so it's like a whole. Thing. Obviously, you're going to smell the hair. <laughs> yeah, but it was funny for me to be like, "Ew, you're weird now." Yeah. And then I had the whole cheating joke that was like really funny. I guess. And they really liked it. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like nasally cheating is really funny. <laughs> yeah, smell. Yeah, smelling. <laughs> That's crazy. Somebody cut off their ponytail. Well, I want to see what they. What are they walking around looking That's like? That's what I'm thinking. They're just like, <laughs> Did you get my John Cena? He's a fucking bald side of the. You got my fucking John Cena, huh? It'd be oh so funny God. if the letter was like smeared with blood. Oh, that would actually not be funny. No. Yeah, I think there's certain things we can draw the line at getting sent. Blood. One blood. Any liquid. Any fluids. <laughs> do any, not send. Do not liquid s- to this podcast. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Everything else is funny. Do not send me a bag of liquid. Any. Any liquid. like like a jar of liquid. No liquid. Of no any liquid. Kind. We will not entertain that. It would be funny, but like, except don't now do that's it. only it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't do not send us liquids. <laughs> it's like only unless it's like really funny, but like don't send us liquids <laughs> unless like you if we feel get, like it. Get jars of piss and like yeah. Oh my god, no! You're gonna make a cum jar appear in the mail. No, don't do it. You did this. I didn't want. I don't want it. No, but I you- don't. I want pole. I want scary Polaroids. And cash taped to a thing that has arrows that says Rob. Okay, that's Not smart. Jim. Yeah, that's super yeah. funny. For Jim. For Jim with arrows. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I have a sugar mom, but I like $10 too. I like $10. I like $10. Yeah, I got $10 because I'm not married. That's, that's why I got $10. I got $10 because I'm single and alone. You got pity bucks? I got pity bucks. I'm <laughs> fucking jerking my dick off at home alone. It sucks. Pity Bucks, is that the episode name? Pity Bucks? No, yeah. it's Bag of Hair. Bag of Hair, you think? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It is kind of the highlight of the episode. It's just fan mail episode one. Like, literally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the SpongeBob car. I'm, like, excited. <laughs> I'm, like, overly excited. It's cool. I can't wait to see what we keep... Yo, please keep sending us mail. It really is hilarious. Mm-hmm. I do appreciate it. We're gonna open up the. More I want scary episodes. Polaroids really bad. Yeah, scary Polaroids. I want Polaroids that like I'm looking at it and I can't like figure I'm out. Like, what it yeah, is. I'm like, what am I looking at? Yeah, why are they like yeah like tied up like like they're like tied up in yeah. like duct tape and shit. Mm-hmm. We don't know if it's real or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah that kind of stuff. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sending get sending. What if somebody sends you nudes and it's like uh. Uh, did like did you like uh, whatever the fucking like actual like printout nudes? Mm-hmm. Would that be funny? <laughs> I think that's another line. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Don't send us nudes. We don't know how old you are. Oh yeah, that's fair too. No, we can't no like nudes. ask. We can't ask for nudes. Oh yeah, no, that's actually yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to ask people to be like send you nudes. Yeah, okay, to, that's to smart. PO box. <laughs> yeah, actually, okay. So no nudes, no fluids. A super not. Yeah. Super no fluids unless it's like. I can tell for sure it's blood. <laughs> yeah, no nudes, no fluids. Scary Polaroids. Mm-hmm. That's funny. And fan art. Can I see that picture yeah. of us get that, that she only. drew again? Oh, yeah. It's it's actually like... <laughs> really funny. <laughs> we, <laughs> we look like we body swapped. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> we look like we freaky friday <laughs> It's like really funny. That's like super funny that they drew that. I mean, they did a better job than I could have done. Yeah. Why my, did they? Are why, my R's? My, are my R's? Are my eyes that far apart? <laughs> no, I just think that uh, they tried their best to draw you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's actually great. so fucking funny. It's actually really good. It's like so good. Hey, my hair's do, my hair's more luscious, but it's like good. <laughs> yeah. They gave me like like hot mom lips though. Yeah. I got like hot mom lips in it. I don't know. It's cool though. I like it. Put it on top of the hair for now. <laughs> for now. Put it on top of the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Look, mom, I got hair. <laughs> yeah. How's the podcast going? Yeah, I can't wait Fourth of July. So how's the podcast? When I meet up with all my family, I haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty awesome. We got hair. Hair and John Cena figures. Finally, we got hair. Yeah, finally we got hair. Um, I got a SpongeBob car. <laughs> yeah, 
These WWE belts are. Should I take too. the hair out of the bag? I'll hold it. <laughs> Do you want? You're gonna hold I'll it. I'll smell it. You're gonna smell it. I'll smell it. Smell it. It smelled like nothing. I could probably tell if it's real or fake hair. Really? You think so? Yeah. By the touch. Okay. That's. Oh my god. <laughs> that's someone's hair. Feel that. <laughs> Do I gotta touch it? Oh, that's somebody's hair. That's, that's not like that's not like horse hair. That's not like a br- like you know what I mean. <laughs> that's not an extension. That doesn't feel like an extension. This is like literally like I hope it's like <laughs> as requested. Here's I like that sort of that you hope. Like, I don't hope anything. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I just that is hilarious. As requested, here's some of my hair. That's so funny. I'll take. A, can you hold it up so I can take a picture of us with the fucking hair? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sent us hair. What an That's insane like so life. <laughs> yeah, this is our job. Is it illegal to get hair in the mail? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Is anything we just did illegal? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, but let's draw a hard line in the sand here. Please don't send us anything unless you're 18 years old or older. Is that fair to say? Yes. Yeah. And now <laughs> I'm super concerned <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that the things that we were sent were sent by a child. Nah. No, please. No. No, No, please. (laughs) Yeah, no. (laughs) Oh, yeah, we just got sent a bunch of wrestling (laughs) figures and SpongeBob car, and we're like, this is awesome. (laughs) And hair, and we're like, wait a minute. There's some little kid walking around with no (laughs) hair on his his fucking head. We're like, thanks, Nancy. (laughs) I can't wait to get a call from an angry parent that's like, you guys made made my kid cut its hair off. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, it is like the, well, yeah, that is, uh, well, no, I think the handwriting looks like an adult wrote it, please. I, I mean, was what gonna say of, the exact opposite. Really? Nah, it's fine. I mean, nah, it's probably fine. There's I don't no, know any adults with access to notebook paper, okay? Uh, nah, it's like- Come a, on, please? <laughs> yeah, did they go out and buy this, or was this like a, around their house? None of this. I sent Rob and Jim my favorite wrestling toys. And my hair. I imagine some parent running around, Honey, what happened to your hair? Tits podcast. What? Huh? Huh? Robin Jim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't send us anything unless you're 18. We should have we should have made that a, a rule. That's... But keep yeah. the... I mean, that should be an unspoken rule to not send any adults anything. But yeah, now with all the children's toys and stuff... And now is, that now it's it starting is, to seem kind of fucked is, up. Yeah, it is a little bit weird. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> this too is like kind of like the icing on the cake. I guess. I mean, it is funny. Assuming you're an adult, please be an adult. Yeah, that does, yeah. <laughs> that's the name of the episode. Please be please an adult. Please be an adult. <laughs> <laughs> And now I'm scared of all the items. <laughs> yeah. I did that to myself. Now I'm scared of all the items. It's okay. <laughs> you touched the hair. It could have been some little kid sent me their allowance. So <laughs> it's like you had ten. You had ten bucks. It's like really from, scary from Nancy. Mm. <laughs> that sounds like a little kid making up a name. <laughs> like yeah, uh, well, yeah. Well, if I tell them I'm Nancy, they'll think I'm a. Well, they'll think that's a grown up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hey, adults, keep sending us stuff. Ad- adults. Mm-hmm. And no nudes or liquids. Those are the only rules. Literally anything else. Yeah. Uh, only adults, no nudes, no liquids. Pretty ba- pretty basic rules. Pretty uh pretty damn pretty damn <laughs> I can't basic think rules. Of, I can't think of a kid being on a Patreon though. Yeah, that's true, I guess. And me as a kid, I wouldn't have any interest in a podcast. That's fair, yeah. Yeah, we're like fine, we're Please. safe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Yeah, kids don't know how to use the internet at all. They're not they don't care about that. Oh my god. No, this is, well, this is the end of the podcast. No, it's actually the super... It's the beginning, actually. <laughs> ah, what did Robin Jim do? Ah, they hung up some little kids' hair on their thing. <laughs> They're in jail. No, it's, it's adult hair. Yeah. That's an adult drawing. An adult drew that. Sure. <laughs> you do look kind of scary in that picture, though. You, they made you really... They made you orange. Yeah. Kind of. But, hey, they did a better job than I could have done. They didn't you know? make you red. Yeah, Thank. by the way, thank you. I was yeah. I was expecting all the fan mail to be like red crayon and me. Mm-hmm. They draw me like a devil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Thank you. Thing, yeah, the thing from Insidious. Yeah, am I that red today? Yeah, I am. You are red. It's because it's it's because it's hot in here. I'm you telling worked you. out. I did. I worked out. I did sauna. I did. You got all, all those blood in your face. 
Yeah, I was also laughing really hard earlier. Am I? Re- oh, damn. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not that. I'm not this red in person. If you come, <laughs> if you come see me, mm-hmm, no, I'm not. It's because the lighting and it's hot. In yeah. Here. Okay. Yes. How much money for you to eat a strain of that hair? Oh, I'll do it for. I'll do it for a fucking. I'll do it. I'll. I'll bite that ponytail for a hundred dollars right now. Really? Yeah. Bite it? I would bite that whole thing <laughs> for a hundred dollars right now. Yeah. You owe me a hundred dollars. So if I said we're square on that, you would fucking. Bite. I would do it. Mm, that's tempting. That is really tempting. <laughs> you would bite like what kind of a bite? I would hold it and I would bite it. <laughs> I would bite the whole thing. I'd hold it and I'd bite it. Oh man, we might have to start like a like a Kickstarter or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jim eats hair. <laughs> it goes yeah. up to like twelve thousand oh, dollars. Oh man, it goes up to like twelve. I'm like, but Rob eats it too. Yeah, yeah. Rob's also Wait, hungry. Yeah, my wife's like, what are you doing? And we're like. Making money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eating, eating hair. hair. Yeah. Yeah, it took two seconds for us to sell out and eat hair. If you guys send us hair and inside the bag of hair is a $100 bill, we'll both bite it. Or does that have to be, uh, one of us has to fight over who's going to bite it. <laughs> I get to bite the hair this time. <laughs> yeah, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah, send, keep sending us cash and hair. The wrestlers are cool, assuming it was an adult who sent them. <laughs> but yeah. The belts are, dude, this is like, like, okay, like these are like, now it's like, yeah, this is like, either like, yeah, I guess I, I yeah, this is an adult that made this stuff. Please? <laughs> what a creative adult. <laughs> I am excited to ugly, ha- uh, ugly nail that hair to the wall. That's cool. That letter is super funny. Yeah. It's like, I want to hear about Jim coming and shitting and fucking. I'm like, I gave you the, the way. You said, I know, I know. I don't, I don't think I... I'm not t- saying. Oh, these tell me about the. Uh, you said you said something really funny about the, the. You said you shot a load so big the other day you almost told your dad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I busted like after like a long weekend of like coke and not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking, I shot like the craziest nut of all time. It was like literally like a water balloon. Like, it was like <laughs> I was like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> you but the way you described it to me. You said, what a way to end it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I had the most incredible weekend with like six packed out shows. I just like bust. Did the craziest way ever. I was like, "Whoa, what a way, what a way to end it!" Yeah. <laughs> I was running out of steam at the very end, like just like talking to my buddy TJ, like on the way home from all of it. Yeah, like I was like, yeah. I was like falling asleep and shit. Like I was like, the shows were the second the shows were done, and I had nothing else to do. I was like, <laughs> shut down mode. It literally was. Um, you went 36 hours without sleep, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and did like three sold out shows in that time. Or four. Yeah. I did four sold out shows with no sleep in between. So that was... <laughs> and yet you, you had a little bit of help. I had a tiny bit of help. <laughs> and uh, it's so funny. We went to... Uh, we were going to go to Angelo's. You've heard of Angelo's? Yeah. So we were going to go there, but the line was wrapped around the block. So we just drove to the venue. Mm-hmm. In Cherry Hill, we stopped at Taco Bell. We had ta- Cherry Hill Taco Bell. It was the greatest Taco Bell ever. There was no one in there. Our food was piping hot. Yeah. Everything was delicious. We were like, why is it? It's like we were all sitting there. We're like, me, Casey, and TJ. We're like, this place is delicious when it's hot. Oh, we were t- like, Taco Bell? It was burning hot, and it was so Watch. delicious. Good. It was really good. That's good. When it was fresh. Well, yeah. I mean, Taco Bell, it's never good when it fucking sucks. But it's like never good. Yeah, that's true. And this time, everything was like made right away. No one was there. It was just us. And it was like, boom. How were the employees? Were they nice? Were they like, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Everything's done on the kiosk, so you really don't have to talk to anyone at all. Uh, they just call your name out. We were like, yeah, yeah. And it was like, everything was like literally burning hot. Like there was steam coming off it. Okay. And we were like, whoa, this is really good. <laughs> We almost left reviews. We're like, should we? <laughs> yeah. Like, does that a ten out of ten? Where was this Taco Bell at? Cherry Hill. Okay. You think if you went back there, you'd get the same experience? You think that's like a special Taco Bell? I think so. I think it's in a weird place. I've had people. I was talking shit on McDonald's for a while. My buddy was like, "Nah, you just been getting going to the wrong McDonald's." I'm like, "True, fuck it's it. true." Oh, is it? Because the one in my town. They knocked it down and made a new build. They made a brand new building. Oh yeah. So it's like everything's like the most updated version of everything, and it's like super clean, and like it's always like 
just going. Like it's it's always hot. Like, it, but then there's one that's even closer to my house the other way, and it's like ghetto as fuck. Mm. <laughs> like it's like so busted and old. It's got like the '90s tables with like the green and purple like seat. <laughs> yeah, it's, like sticky everywhere. I love a good. I love a good uh, an old Burger King. Oh, that that, that you can tell hasn't been renovated. I mean, no, not the food. I'm talking oh, about I like... I hate the taste of Burger King burger. No, yeah. That I'm not, liquid smoke. Not the food. I'm talking about like the inside of an old oh. Burger King. You remember? I do. No, I do. They, have the, they would have the Nintendo 64 that was always broken. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Never worked. No. Yeah. Nintendo 64 is a great console. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, these guys give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I gotta do so much laundry today. Dude, I'm so excited to see what the fuck more people send us. That was an insane... I didn't expect to have this many items. Just sheer <laughs> amount of like items. The letter was super nice, too. The letter was super the letter, nice. Two, we got two letters. Yeah. You know? That was really nice. Yeah, sometimes I think, like, what do we do this for? This? And then, for hair. boom. We do it for hair. Bag nice of one. hair, man. Yep. An adult's hair. Mm-hmm, for sure, uh, for sure, one hundred percent for sure. Adults' hair and adults' uh, wrestling figures and adults' uh, cat um, ears and an adult SpongeBob car and a picture of us drawn by an adult. Lots of stuff from adults here and the and the two in the stank adult podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please be an adult for grown ups. Yep. <laughs> Could you fucking imagine getting an angry DM from, like, a parent? <laughs> I'd be like, like, why did you guys tell my kid to cut her hair off? I'd I'm be like, like, you're the one who's letting her listen to us. Yeah, I'm like, you gotta... I'm like, that's not all me. Yeah. But yeah, I've been messaging little kids on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Telling them to cut their hair off. <laughs> Send me your hair. Yeah. So. Send it, come downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Come downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What a silly joke you made there, Jim. Yeah, very silly. Do you like? Do you follow any like gamers? Oh, you're gonna talk about Doctor Disrespect? I just found out who this guy was. Oh yeah, today. what an interesting se- uh, segue. I so I used to fucking love watching his shit back in the day. I thought I've heard you mention him before. That's yeah, why he puts on the he, yeah, he wears the fake mullet and he has a mustache. He goes, you're looking at the 1994, 1996 blockbuster champion. That guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, didn't he get like uh, he's been he's under accusation for like uh, chatting with kids, right? Yes, but he like admitted it. Yeah, th- well, he, yeah, that's yeah. That and was now kinda... everyone's like, ew. <laughs> yeah, he was like, he's like, did I message a child? Yes. Were there malicious intent? No. I'm like, then why were you talking to him? Yeah. Why? Like, like, hey, like, thanks. I don't know. That's weird. Like, but th- like, yeah, I don't know. It's so weird. But I got. I think a lot of kids watch him, which is like, I don't know. Kids like video games. Yeah. And it's fucking, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like but hard like, to... I want to know what the messages were. Yeah. Like, was it Let shit? me read them. Yeah, was it like, yeah, release the messages. Because that could make a whole difference. Like, I'm not trying... I don't know what the facts are, so honestly, I'm not trying to defend him or, like, accuse him. No, but I'm trying to say, like, I don't know... I like, don't know who he is, but, I'm like, trying people to say, are pissed. But, like, was it a kid that was like, hey, I love your stuff, thanks, I'm a big fan. He was like, hey, yeah, no problem. Like, was it literally that? Or was it, like... Like what? Like what do you look like? Like that kind of stuff. No, because because it's not illegal to like. I don't know. Like that wouldn't be like suspect, right? If it was, I think it's still weird to talk to kids. Oh yeah, I mean. But I mean, like, I want to. I would like, never speak to a child. Yeah, um, no. Like, like ever. I I don't even want to talk to my own kids when I have them. No. I'd be like, no, I'm going. I'm being in Denver. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, no, okay, you stay here. Wait, talk to me when you're fucking older. You I got like a bunch of like nieces what, and nephews weirdo? and stuff. I'm like, they don't need to know what I do. Yeah. Like, like I don't want them to know what I fucking do and what I say. But um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, dude. That's so fucking weird. Like, it, like, well, how come everybody like all the shit I like, the guys into like being like fucking yeah. weirdos, like Rick and Morty, Justin, like the oh Rick and Morty's done. No, no, no the, the show exists, but now the voice they sound different because the main voice actor Justin Roiland got fired. Because he was, like, uh, messaging kids and also doing, like, Chinese accents and shit. Like, that'll get you. Chinese accents will get yeah, he was, you? Yeah, like, no, he was saying... Really? Because um, I'm fucked. No, no, he, he was, like, in the Twitter DMs. It was, like, uh, like he was, like, how old he was like how old are you? And they were 16, and he'd be, like, in the in the things, be, like, oh, 16, so young, me so Chinese, and stuff like that, and, like, weird shit like that. Because he was an alcoholic. He would just get fucking hammered and then go on Twitter and, like like... Be just drunk message people, I guess. I don't know. Ooh. 
Yeah, I guess he thought he was just like being silly, but but now he doesn't voice Rick and Morty anymore. Mm. And now their voice actor. The first episode I watched the new season, I was like, ah, oh, this is, doesn't sound anything like them. But then I started to watch it, and I started to forget that he's not voicing them. And the show is still good. So I never watched. Um, but yeah, and then fucking Doctor Disrespect. That sucks because I did. I never really watched his live streams, but I always liked watching his clips. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Why does everybody have to be a weirdo? Yeah, how, how come I, every time I, I find awesome? it extremely easy to not talk to children. These guys like can't. They're like, whoa. <laughs> well, I have millions of dollars. What else? Well, am yeah, I, gonna do? I looked up his net worth. He's got like six million dollars. Yeah, he was making like fucking like ten grand a stream every day for fucking ever. At least there's like during like PUBG. Oh my god! Now I'm getting like like during well, now I'm getting like like. I'm sweating. a widow during PUBG. Yeah, during when PUBG was at its peak, he was getting like getting like sixty thousand viewers, and they were like he was making money monetizing his stream and then getting donations. Yeah, it's crazy. That's why I wanted to be a full-time streamer, because I was like, this seems like fun. Anyway, um, we are going to take it over to the Patreon. We want to thank our top-tier supporters, Christian, Mike Fall, Squall, Miles Schultz, Andrew Herbert, Tim Sislow, and Jordan Dillabo. And uh, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you for the, um, the fan art. It really does mean a lot. Uh, please uh, send us uh, some more stuff, adults. Um, the P.O. box in the description. You can find, just send us whatever you want. No liquids, however, or, uh, or nudes. I think that's fair. Yeah. Polaroids. Get creative with the Polaroids, but no nudes. Sounds yeah. fair? Yeah. Yes. You have anything you want to say before you take it over to the Patreon? I, no. Okay. Nope. Alrighty. Nope. We'll see you guys over on part two. We love you. Stink it forward. Share us with your friends. Peace and love.